Yo, what's good guys? Cube here, back again and once again for I believe what is going to be part 5 of a Pokemon Platinum Randomizer Nuzlocke. The last time we left Laura Roma time made our way up through Route 205 and into Eternal Forest and had something crazy go down with, you know, encountering a Dialoga on the same um, route, technically, as the Adam and Orb that we found it on. That's honestly double crazy, I mean that even happened, but today we're going to be taking on in the Eternal City Gym and if we've got time, take on the Team Galactic build in North of the City. I leveled up some mods off camera to do it to about level 20 and we now have an evolved Trico with Metal Play that's now evolved into Grovile. You know, not really any great ground type moves yet, but I don't know I guess we'll do. Um, Pounder, Bog Standard, honestly nothing really to do with that at the minute. Bombshell, Icicle Spear, cool. Casper getting confused with the spell tag, cool I guess. Marina, well, I mean you guys know how good Marina is already. And then Yogi, Yogi Bear. Um, nothing's really changed other than levels. Well, the only real difference that's happened so far I would say is definitely Grovile, if anything. But without saying much else, let's get into the gym and let's see what the gym trainers are setting at, see if I can use some of my other mods today. So, I am Gardenia, I'm the town gym leader. My last challenger was awfully speedy young guy. Actually, his name is DJ, he told me about you. He said that another challenge is on the way, so that made me antsy. At the gym, no one gets to battle with the gym leader and me until the end. The, the challenger is to beat all the other gym leaders first, or trainers first rather, sorry. I'll be waiting for you in the back train, don't disappoint me. Right, let's go. Obviously a much different look gym layer than um, Diamond and Pearls, which I much, much prefer this, honestly speaking, so yeah. I was gonna leave it again just to see where the gym trainers are setting it on and see if we got a little bit of XP on it and we'll see how it goes, you know what I mean? And you have two mods, you're leading with a Flygon. Okay, uh, level 17. Grass dra no. What am I on about? Dragon ground type, right? It should be dragon ground here. So uh yeah, not exactly the best um type matchup I do have to say. Um Dragon Grounder. Let's actually go into Bombshell because I've got Icicle Spear here. I want to see how much this does. Let's see what this has got though. Dan Attack. Okay, that's a bit annoying, can't lie. Sonic Boom, so it can't mess. That. The fact that it's got Sonic Boom is very dangerous early game, so we're just going to pop right back into Marina and just Aurora Beam this thing because it's like, yeah, if you're a Sonic Boom, that is way too dangerous to the other guys on my team. I have not taken a chance, but yeah, we here, you know. Found him. Okay. So we kind of know how to deal with this thing. It is a dark type now. I can never remember. It's good. It's ghost good against dark or is dark good against ghost. I can never remember for the life of me um, what that is. I think ghost is good against dark. So I'm going to go ahead with Casper here and go in and use Astonish. Got to use Hyrule. Okay, that's very dangerous. If I was a Hound Dower, but not a Hound Doom. Let's see. No, it is resisted. Okay, good thing I didn't go for a dark type move. Let's just go back into me really real quick. But with Hyrule has a plus two attack, I think. So, I can be wrong. Maybe it'll only be plus one, but I'm not willing um, to do that. I used Roar. I have Suction Cup, so it can't run me out of battle. That's good. Bubble Beam. Fight. Shouldn't do really much at all. Bubble Beam. Comes off. Bye bye. You know what I mean? It just really goes to show you, though, like how um, weak my team actually is. If I wasn't from Marina, like I don't have enough evolved or good enough moves right now to even be used at this point in the game. I really need to like level up and then get some decent moves on their like move sets to be able to actually use something other than Marina because it's just not like you know it doesn't feel safe at the moment. You know what I'm saying? My right, second gym trainer, what do you have for me? Three months, Norlax to begin with though. Okay. Um. I know one of your defenses aren't as good as one another, but I can't remember what it is. Let's just go for Absorb and see what we got. I know you're a tanky, but I can't remember what side it is. It might be the special side. A death. Okay. Um, defense curl. That's not great for me. I can't lie. Let's go with Pursuit. How much damage is that doing? With a defense curl up. A bit more than the Absorb. Okay, cool. Yeah, I mean, like, what else can I really say? We're really just gonna have to, like, swap out again until, like, we're gonna have to keep using the Marina guys until we actually get something that can, you know, actually work. We've not really had anything that's been super great as of this. 
this point, you know, so it's like, what do we even do against this thing, you know, so... Um... Bubble Beam, I assume. And one more Bubble Beam. Go. Cool. Alright, hear that. And Matty Sheet is coming out. Okay, fighting typer. Um, let's just go into... Casper, yeah. I don't know if this thing will even be able to really hit me, honestly, so let's go for Confusory. I got confused, yeah. Whirlwind into Bombshell. Um... Let's just swap into Marina then. I was planning to use, um, you know, Casper, but I guess that isn't gonna happen. Arm Thrust, yeah, I kind of have a feeling you had that. I like Confusion, that's okay, I can't move. Play Beam, boom, all right, cool. And I finally Affinion. This is where Gaius could probably be usable here, honestly. But I could just go ahead for Absorb here, because I do have the middle, the middle plate. Oh, don't tell me we're getting Power Fusion here. Okay, nice, I got it off, nice. Water Gun does nothing, Immobilize, that's fine. That's fine. That's still fine. About time, I think you're long enough. I can't believe how OP attract and like, you know, I started conditioning to be in Gen 4 of the Immobilized by Love thing and then like, you know. Paralysis on top of that. Okay, let's go to the third gym train and see what she's got. Because I would really like to use some of these other mons, but I just don't think I'm going to get a chance to use them until they're at least evolved or got some decent moves. Because like, they're all very mediocre and average right now, if I'm being honest. Sakurita, okay. This is a situation where I could use Hound Arrow here, actually. Let's go for Pursuit. How much damage is that doing? Honestly, not a lot. I use Reflect, so we need to really go into something special now. So we'll go into Hound Arrow. Razor Leaf should be resisted. That was a crit, and that was only like, what, like 16 damage? Yeah, we're fine. Ember. Could do about half damage, I would say. Yeah, about half his health, like, but bang on. Poison Powder, that's okay, actually. Should be faster. Ember comes off, Jikorita goes down, boom, there we go. And of course, we've got Jillian now coming up. I'm going to switch Marina back into the front. What I even to go? Has it got the Mystic Water on it? Yeah, okay, it does, because I did swap that out from the since last time. I knew the gym leader was coming up. Let's go do one final heal up to our team, and then we will face the gym leader, okay? All right, Gardenia, what have you got for me? Let's save the game before anything crazy goes down, you know? Okay, let's go. You kept me waiting. I'm a turn as gym leader Gardenia, the grass type master. When I first saw you, I was convinced you'd find your way to me. My hunch was right in the money you have a winning aura about you. So anyway, this will be fun. Let's have her battle. All right, let's go. Let's see what she's leading with, you know? I think we're level 24 because normally a turk twig, I think, in the original planum. She's going to lead with a Linoon. What would be probably our best option here? Dying attack. Okay. Quite a few video call it, um, Pokemon in this gym has had accurately dropping move. If you know it, a withdraw. Wow. Into victory, Bella. Huh? That's kind of funny because you are a grass type master, actually. That's good. I didn't actually expect that. There it is. I mean, the fact that Bubble Beam Bub Bub almost half his tail is kind of crazy, honestly. Razor Leaf. Oh, wait, this is war. Yeah, this is a like gratitude. What am I doing? I completely blanked at that, honestly. I was like, ah, yeah, we won't speed it and all of that, you know? I don't know why I didn't claw that victory bit. It was a grass thing. It's a water type just now. All right, Flame Throw takes out anyway, but like, I'm about to be autopiloting right now because, like, bro, like, legit. I am not thinking straight. All right, I'm mining is going to come in. Um. I need to let you type, right? Um, let's just go into Grow Vile, honestly. Because we do know that the Shimura likes to do hard switches, so in case it does do that again, we've got Pursuit on this thing, so it's like, we could use that, you know, to our advantage. Got a spot, that's resisted, come grass. Thank you very much. All right, Pursuit, how much damage are we looking at? So this, this is a minor, it should be, I should have been more than that, honestly, but in my honest opinion. Oh, quick attack. Like, I just feel like all of my mods are doing such lackluster damage that I'm not really too impressed, you know? Even a grow violet at this stage should probably be doing a lot more damage than that, you know? I do need a good, like, stab, like, grass type move, though. I mean, I do have absorb, but, like, I'm probably a physical move. I'm pretty sure, like, grow violet and set are more of, like, physical attackers, so I would obviously want that, more or less. Okay, I'm really paralyzed here. Yeah, that's annoying. Uh, um... Again, other than Marina, who do I really go into here, you know what I'm saying? So it's probably gonna go to Spark. Let's just go to Cat the Ghost, see what happens here, you know? 
Are we gonna go for Spark? Yeah, I thought so. That's why I never went back into Moomina you know, there. Oh, you can probably just Nightshade this thing after a second Spark. Thank you. Let's see. Not a straight KO. It's probably gonna use a potion. Yep, yep. Kind of thought as much. I did think that might have been happening, so let's go for another Nightshade. Probably just want to have another Nightshade. All that is is a Spark Nightshade, like, back and forth here, it really is. Yeah, a little bit low now, I, I, am, I am aware of that, don't worry, guys. This thing doesn't get pursued, I don't believe, so let's now... Uh, let's go into... Uh, you know, let's actually go to Teddy Ursa, I want to see how it takes his Spark, honestly. Okay, that's fine actually, yeah. Yeah, not, 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 that's actually calm. Uh, let's go Fury Swipes. Spark. Even if it crits here, we survive this. There's no way it kills us at its range. Crit. Tape. And this is why it does, like I always tell people, you play around the crit. You know what I'm saying? Alright, the final mod back to that light noon, so let's go back into Marina. Is that okay? We get a clean switch here. And uh, now we just go with, honestly, the Bubble Beam. Sand Attack, I kind of had a feeling it would come back out with a Sand Attack again. We actually landed this time though, so that's good. Um, that might drop it into the red, honestly, in one hit. I'll just take it out, yeah, you know what, we'll take that as well. And that is the second jump defeated, guys. If it wasn't for Marina, we would have probably lost a lock right here, I can't lie. Marina's been such a big, big, like, asset to this team. Anyway, I might have said it before, but you're really tough. Wasn't it hard for you to raise your Pokemon to be so good? I guess that is a measure of how much you love your Pokemon. In recognition of that, I proudly grant you this. The forest badge from Gardenia, and unlike the last time, the last gym fight, I will remember to actually enable the gym badge in the top left of the screen this time. And obviously with the forest badge, we can now, you know, use uh, Kai's head of battle. And we also received the TM86, which will be randomized, of course. So, as you should... Oh, Thunder Wave! Oh! 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 Fee Waver! That's gonna be useful! If anybody can learn it. If anybody learn Thunder Wave? Oh my. Wow, Growell actually can. Yeah, um, we definitely will give it to you, even if you're not really too great right now when it comes to, like, actually, like, you know, battling. Having Fee Wave. On something like a Grover right now would be fantastic for capturing stuff, so you're damn right I will take that. I've been recording for 16 minutes raw recording, so I do think I'll have time to go and do the Team Galactic building. But before that, we are going to get two more encounters, like I mentioned at the end of the last episode. The one to the right of Eternus City, and the one inside Mount Coronet, inside the cave. Well, let me go to the Pokemon and see, do we have Great Balls? No, we do not. It must be after the third gym then. Oh, okay. That's pain. All right, we'll buy another 10 balls with another premier ball to add to our total. The potion wise, we'll probably get another four of them. Yeah. There's nothing really else I can think that I want to buy here, to be honest. Um, actually, these might, they might be pretty good. Let's buy like five net balls. Okay, they could come clutch. Um, next balls, nah, I'm good, honestly. Alright, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, how you feeling? Hey, Cube, you came to see the Pokemon statue, right? I'll take you there. Awkward pause. What the? Yeah, it's that guy from the start of the game, huh? So, this is the turn of Pokemon statue. Shaping a world or time and space in an intertwining spiral. Revered and Sinnoh are the Pokemon of time and space. Sinnoh's myth, its truth needs investigation. Pardon me, stand aside. Oh hey, when we smacked together, a brilliant flash of inspiration came to me. I need to be to become a great trainer, yeah that. Alright, listen close. Make certain all your attacks hit, avoid enemy attacks for sure. If you do that, you'd never lose, you'd be the invincible trainer. Oh no! Anyway. Anyway, go check out the Pokemon statues, see you around. 
If only every VG Sweep player, you know, had that luck where all of their opponents had smashed that they missed that. Also, there's a hidden item behind the statue. It should be. Yeah. Oh, and we got a Flame Orb. Oh, interesting. Okay, if we get someone with, um, if we get a Pokemon with Guts, that's huge. If we get like a Machamp with Guts, that's going to just break the game. Straight up. Okay, then. Um, yeah. Cool. All right, this is a new area. It's about 211. Let's just see what our encounter is. You know what I'm saying? Whatever it is, I'm going to lead with Grovile because we do a Thunder Wave, remember? Or should it be like an electric legendary so I can't even paralyze it or something like that? Okay, regular encounter music. Well, it could still be a legendary. And Nose Pass. Hmm. Not great. I don't even know how you'd get Pro Pass in this game, I can't lie. Um, can you even Thunder Wave it? I'm going to try. Oh, you can. I didn't think you could paralyze Rock type. Okay. Well, that's good. Um, all right, you do nothing to us anyway, so let's just go with Pursuit. That is fine. Pursuit again. Can't move. Pursuit again. Quick attack and then resist it. Okay, it's in the red and it's paralyzed. We could probably just use regular balls here anyway. Um, let's see how it goes. One, two, three. Beautiful. One ball. That's what we're talking about. Female nose pads, huh? I actually have no idea what to call this thing. You know what? A random female name came into my what they call it um head, so we're just gonna call it. Phineas and Ferb, but it call it, came into my head and I thought of Candace. If you know the show, you know who I'm talking about, so that's what we're gonna go with. Like I'm terrible at nicknaming and stuff, I'm just going with whatever random sporadic name comes to my head. If you got better nickname suggestions, let me know. Do it. Pause, walk, and you get through without encountering them. Alright, this is Mount Coronet, so let's get another encounter here while we're here, you know. Regular encounter music, okay. What have we got? That is... Duke's Claws. So we can get another encounter. Not only Duke's, but also Species Claws if you technically can that, you know. Alright, let's get another encounter. Encounter, please. Okay, okay, all right, and this is why we waited, because I now have Thunder Wave on this thing. I've got to be careful, those things should have a fire type move. I should be quicker. Well, should I? We're in risk it. We get the T-Wave up, it could get fully paralyzed here. Let's just see how this goes, you know what I'm saying? Let's just see how this goes. Fully paralyzed, beautiful, that's what we wanted. Now we can swap over to Octillery here. Oh, actually, it's better to go into Octillery here because, like, you know, um, it'll probably kill it in one shot, right? We need to try to find a way. We need this thing. Let's go over to Casper the Ghost. All right. Cool. Lovely. I didn't even know I got that move, to be honest, so... I didn't even know it got Whirlwind, you know? And we could have also had a ground on. All right, cool. Sick. Lovely. Amazing. That's cool. Kill game. Nope, that is definitely cool. You know, just for the memes, if I throw one ball, this thing I capture, I can't be arse. If it actually captures it, by the way. Okay, thank you. It seriously had whirlwind. Well then. Yeah. Oh wait, I forgot about this. Oh, the face you have is that Pokedex Wild brings back some memories. Part of me, what's your name? Well, I'll look you, but we should remember that name. My name is Cynthia. I'm a trainer just like you. I've been studying Pokemon mythology lately just out of curiosity. Here in Eternal City, there's a statue of an ancient Pokemon which we've already seen. We seen it already? Yep. According to his map, it was an extremely powerful Pokemon. Who knows, you may encounter something like it while you're traveling with your Pokedex. Oh no, try using that, it should be helpful. HMO one cut. And this item down here is... Bite! Okay. Interesting dark type move, although I do believe Houndour actually did uh, learn that when I was leveling up with Rare Candies the other day. Yeah, okay, cool. We have to remember, we can't just use TMs with an alien chain for because they're one-time use. 
not like we're playing Gen, uh, is it Gen 5 where they made them multi use? I can't never remember if it's Gen 5 or Gen 6, but I know it's one of them. Bro, we could have made a Titan Silver Nose Pass. I CBA, I CBA right now. Especially if that thing got a huge power. I actually really like Medicham a lot. And we needed a fighting type in the team as well. All right, all right, fair enough. All right, Ka, Angelica, yeah, because like I said, you're a, you're a, you're a Haitian person. Before we go on, though, we actually want to go all the way along here. Uh, here, is there a hidden item here? I can never remember. No, but I know there's an item right here. Rock slide, ooh, now that is an interesting TM, I can't lie. Hello, it's me, me. <laughs> Have I settled you? Yes. I'm after all an officer of the international police. It is only natural that I'd be master of disguise. Incidentally, you're a first rate trainer, but I am very aware. I therefore think you'll be okay, but I must warn you to be careful anyway. Also, a word of advice. This building is two stairs, one of them a trap it must be. But the crooks galactic, they did not appear how shall I say smart. There should be an easy way to tell the stairs apart. You ain't wrong. But we will have a couple of double battles in here, so because of that, I'll put Marina in the second slot along with Gex. So Yeah. Let's just be careful, shall we? You know what I'm saying? We go up. If we go up this set of stairs, that actually leads to more items, so even though it's not the correct way, I do want to go here just to, for the case of getting items. Oh, wait, no, that's actually the correct way, isn't it? Oh, yeah, okay, cool. We'll come back. I want to get the other item first. After a double battle, though. And we have a Pidgeot and a Drifloom to deal with right off the bat. Well, that is very dangerous off the bat, so... We're just gonna go ahead and T wave the Pidgeot and then prob probably bubble beam into the no Aurora beam into the Pidgeot. You can make attack, that's fine. T wave. Get that thing out of commission, thank you. Gus, that's okay. Brickatoon, okay, um We'll go with Pursuit on the Drifloon and then we will flame through the Cricketoon, I think. But there's a ghost type, so it should be weak to pursuit. Yep, you heard the sound blow, that's super effective, nice. Lane Pro comes off in the Cricket Tune, boom, nice. Gus, that's still okay. Pursuit again. We will definitely outspeed this thing. And just like that. Oh, Aftermath, I completely forgot about Aftermath, you know. That could have been really bad for us right just then, like really, really bad. Key Wave and the Tyrogue, and we will use Bubble Beam, which should one-shot it. And beautiful, nice. Without the stair, there should be a, a trainer. Well, what, a Galactic Grunt. Somebody's not initiated a battle. I don't know how. Let's use this opportunity then to use a couple of potions on our Gex. Just to make sure it's all right. And honestly, since we don't even need to fight him, let's just go around him here and then snag the item, which is like... Oh, oh for a contest, Barry. God damn it. <laughs> Like I say, we don't need to be fighting these guys, honestly, because Marina is over leveled, so we'll try not to fight as any optional trainers, you know? This is the wrong way, so we'll get into some items, so let's go do that. Some I didn't initiate about, we can go around them, get the item. A yellow flute, what does that even do again? Oh, it's battling, oh, that's kind of annoying if that's the case. Okay, so I have a single Pokemon item from Confusion. That's actually not bad. That's actually not too bad and it would be useful earlier in today's episode, actually. Funny enough. Yeah, let's head upstairs then. Should be the last floor before the top one, I think. If I'm not mistaken. Uh, okay, that's not the correct way, but we do need to face a scientist first, so let's go do that. Think about it, at least it's not too bad. You have a clan parallel which Grovile can absorb. You didn't expect but that's fine, we're faster, boom, get here. Screecher. And that's not bad because it is a physical attacker and it would reduce physical defense. Um, but saying that, I do think that having Thunder Wave rather than that is going to be more useful for me at the moment. So, yeah. What are these two items anyway? If these are both contest variants, I see BA. Okay, at least we got an Earth Plate. Okay, cool, cool. That's ground type. Uh, that has been boosted. We don't really have any ground type users on us right now, but that's still useful for later in the series, you know? 
Who knows? We might get like a Totero Earthquake or something like that, which would be busted with that, by the way, on it. But yeah. Weird. It didn't, it, that guy just didn't battle me. Okay, weird. I will not complain. I always thought this area and plan looked really sick with like the space like theme and all that. I really always loved it, you know, then. All right, let's just swap over to Mary now because we need to be a little bit more careful about this, you know? What is it with this Team Galactic? Why did they take up Pokemon? What are they trying to accomplish? I don't know. Uh, let's see here. Hey, did you want something? How silly me to even ask. You want to free that Pokemon? Fine, I, Jupiter, will deal with you. Let's get it, Jupiter. Let's see what you got. Mars with a poop. Mars with Semi, I push over. Let's see what you got, though. Loud Red, huh? Okay. All right, Marina. Let's see what we got for this Loud Red, huh? Let's go with, I would say, a Bubble Beam here. Right off the bat. Shouldn't exactly, like, you know, be struggling here, honestly. Yep, lovely. Level 30 already, we're not even a heart on city. Oh my god, bro. Star Raptor? Uh, I mean, yeah, sure. And then I guess we can just simply... It's weird, right? Because I'm in this weird situation where, like, Marina is just so much better than all of every other member of my team. I keep using it and it keeps getting overleveled as a result. It's either I need to stop using Marina for a bit, or I need to level up the other members of my team up, up a little bit more even than I have already, because, like... It just feels as if, like, I can't use my other members of my team. I don't know, you know? Weird. Anyway, Jupiter was an absolute walkover. Mainly because of Marina, but yeah. We're on Utah. It's okay, though. Our official Pokemon statue investigation is finished. Mars collected energy from the Valley Windworks. We're pretty much finished here. I'll let you in on one little thing, though. Our boss is researching the myth of ancient Pokemon. With the power of mythical Pokemon, he will become the ruler of Sinnoh. I suggest you keep out of Team Galactic's affairs from now on. This is your last warning. I got my Clefairy back in it. Oh, thanks to you, but that Team Galactic, they say Clefairy came from space, hand it over. The logic baffles me still. It's like they are from space. Anyway, they're gone now. Thank you very much. I can't thank you enough right now, but we just play my cycle shop, okay? We'll do, but before we do that, let's grab his item. Which is a PP Max, which isn't half bad, you know? Even if we don't use it, that's money. That's, that's hardcore cash money right there, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? All right, so the cycle shop is right here. And oh yeah, I forgot Cynthia gives you the egg now, doesn't she? That's right. Oh, there you are. I was looking for you, I got something nice. I want you to have this Pokemon egg. Will you accept it? I will, but I've got a full party slot right now. So. The she literally stops to go into the cycle shop until we do the egg. Are you for real? All right, fair enough. All right, so as a little, little, you know, extra in the, this episode, guys, I'll go ahead and hatch the egg here and see what it is, all right? Before doing that, let's go and actually get our bicycle that we are, we are due, all right? You know? Thanks for rescuing me. It's something to show you my thanks. It's the latest model bicycle. You must take it, I insist. Finally, fast transportation, you know what I'm saying? The latest model to read the operating manual to you. No, we don't need no. Uh, if you've ever played a Pokemon game before, you know how the bike works, guys, let's be honest. Especially the speed up button is going to be really, really fast. So if I press the B button, this is the fast mode, and if I use, you know, this, I go super quick. So I'll be right back when this egg hatches, and we'll see what it hatches into, okay? Oh, there we go. And let's see what this is. This will be an, ad an additional encounter, guys, since it's a static, so let's see. That's not randomized, or that's re randomized back into Togepi. I don't know what to make of that. Um, leave in the comments should I should I include that as an additional encounter or no? Because I don't think that's randomized that properly, but which is weird because the other statics should have randomized into new things. I don't know why that's not randomized. Leave in the comments whether I should count count that Togepi or no. I guess if we're gonna give a nickname a male Togepi, um Well, you know what? If we do if we do use it, it will come into basically what's a flying type, so we'll give it the turbine nickname from earlier in the series we're planning to to Halo, so you know what? Sure, we'll give this the turbine. Let me know if I can use that or not, or if that's a no-go. And there is one other thing I need to do before I can leave Eternus to in. Let's go and get the Explorer Kit from this guy. No? This guy? 
All right, now I don't need to do anything anymore. Now I should be able to go uh, south. Will you block me now? No, cool, lovely. All right. Final thing I will do though before ending off today's episode because the team feel a little weak still. I'm going to use a couple of rare carries. Let's get the rest of the team to level 24 at least. Mainly because that was the level of Jupiter's Ace, so it's like you might as well, you know, match it because I complete the area, you know what I'm saying? Ooh, Shadow Sneak! Yeah, we take those. Give it to me over Astonish, yeah. Oh! Huge! I didn't even know you evolved at this level. Okay! You actually might be usable now. All right. We now have ourselves a Hound Doom. Sick. All right, guys, now I think that's going to do it for part five of our Pokemon Randomizer Nuzlocke. Pokemon Platinum Randomizer Nuzlocke, yeah. I, I don't know, I'm losing it today anyway. I, I can't think straight for some reason this morning. I don't know why, I just can't. Anyways, if you did enjoy the episode, <laughs> be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe to the channel if you're new. And we'll see you in the next episode where we're going to be starting our long trip to get into Heart Home City, which is going to include going through down through Cycling Road, uh, revisiting Orbug very briefly, but you'll see in the next episode what that's all about. So yeah, have a good one, guys. Stay safe, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.